Piano. Welcome to video three of the Agaronate exercise video series, Everyday Stretches for the Muscles. The stretches I'm about to show you are known as static stretches, and they're often done as a cool down to a cardio or strength workout. They can be done at any point when you're feeling tightness in your muscles. When stretching cold muscles, just remember to do so gently and gradually to avoid injury. I know a lot of people who suffer from stiffness and tightness in the muscles. Sometimes it's because of an injury or other physical conditions, but much of the time it's because of a lack of physical activity and a lack of stretching and a gradual shortening of the muscles. We're going to go through different muscle groups of the body, starting from the neck, working our way down to the feet. And the, the goal here for me is just to kind of show you and familiarize you a bit with the different muscle groups so that when you do the strength workouts a little bit later on, you'll be able to know uh, which stretch which stretches to do to target those muscles. So always come back to video three for stretches that'll um, target those muscles that you work later. So a gentle reminder just to consult your healthcare provider uh, to discuss any changes in your exercise routine or if you have any questions or concerns about your health or any conditions that you're dealing with. Keep in mind stretches should be done 10 to 30 seconds each and depending on your need. So in the video I'll be demonstrating each stretch for about 10 seconds or less just for demonstration purposes but I do encourage a longer hold for them. Have a chair handy, which I have behind me, uh, this, and that's so that we don't have to necessarily go down to the floor. For those of you that don't want to stretch on the floor, we can achieve all these stretches with our chair. So let's start, okay, standing nice and tall, starting with our neck, and just doing some very gentle neck turns from side to side. the chin towards the chest be very subtle and gentle with the neck anytime you're doing neck stretches and just stretching the side here by drawing the ear toward the shoulder switching good we're going to move into the shoulders so we're just going to take one arm and just cross it Cross the front of the body here, bringing the arm a bit closer towards the chest, deepening the stretch here. Great, and switching sides. Really good shoulder stretch. Stretch, you feel all the way through here. Make sure you're breathing through every stretch. Nice steady inhales and exhales ensure that you're very relaxed. Moving to the tricep muscle, which is the back of the upper arm, okay? So one that I like is just bringing the arm up, so it's, the arm is beside my ear, bending that elbow and grasping onto it with the opposite hand and just drawing that elbow or that arm towards the back. You can see my hand reaching towards the upper middle back here. Just a lengthening. And switching. biceps muscles which is here muscle responsible for flexing the elbow and drawing weight up when you're doing a bicep curl so we're going to take the arms directly out to the sides palms facing down and we're going to turn those palms to the back as we rotate the thumbs towards the ground and reach take those arms back as far as you want to lengthen those biceps a little further great Moving into the upper back. I like this stretch, it's called a sort of an upper back scoop. And I'm just gonna move my chair back just a bit more. I'm just gonna grab onto the back of my knees and round my upper back out. Breathing. And I'm gonna lengthen, sitting tall again. And as I exhale, I'm gonna round the upper back out again. to sort of the upper side back this region here a great stretch here for this area is to bring the arms up I'm gonna grasp my right wrist with my left hand and I'm just gonna breathe in and reach up I'm gonna exhale leaning to the left gradually just sort of pulling over to my left keeping my feet stable my bum keeping contact with the chair Good, and switching. It's a great stretch for the 
upper side back. work. Hope you're feeling good so far. Now just to target sort of the mid and lower back, kind of the whole back really, is the cat cow pose. So it's just seeing my back here. I want you to see as I extend my spine up and gaze up and breathing in. Exhale, rounding my whole spine, down. not just my upper back, but as far as I can. Rounding spine out. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Great job. And you're going to repeat that as many times as appropriate for you. Now for a really good low back stress relief or tension relief is a standing forward fold. And I want to emphasize here that if you have any uh, back issues or injuries or disc issues and things like that, be aware of those kinds of limitations and injuries and only proceed um, if you're able to, okay? And uh, I, I'm not going to make any recommendations with regards to that, so it's, it's really, we have to know our bodies and we have to know our limitations in order to be safe. So standing forward fold really helps to uh, decrease or uh, relieve stress and tension in the low back, so we're just going to breathe in, and then I'm going to exhale and hinge at the hips bring my chest towards the ground. And you don't have to touch the ground, okay? You don't have to touch the ground. You're gonna reach as far as you can, have a gradual release in the spine. And I'm relaxing my neck and my shoulders and my back. So you're feeling a lengthening right here. Nice long spine. And you repeat that as many times as you need to. And you can roll up from that, or you can take the hands back to the sides. Inhale, taking the spine nice and long again from the hips, coming back to center. Great work. We're going to come to the side abdominal muscles here. So just doing a gentle side stretch. Hold on to one side of the chair, breathing in as we reach. Exhale, lengthening the side as we reach over. Sun's coming out now. It's a chilly day today. Inhaling with the other side and reaching over as far as we can. Okay, just to that point of comfort for you. Just to that point of feeling the length happening down the side of abdominals. Great. Coming back. And again, for the front abdominals as well, that cat cow pose that I had showed you. Um, Lengthening the spine upward also lengthens the abdominal muscles here down the front. Okay, but you can also achieve that that abdominal stretch by doing a cobra pose on the ground, just coming to the floor and lengthening the, the abdominals with a cobra. Good. And back up. We're gonna do a hip flexor stretch. So the hip flexor is the front of the thighs. Those can get really, really tight and they can affect a lot of things, even how we walk. So I want to make sure that the hip flexors are nice and relaxed and stretched as much as we can. So I'm going to step forward with my left leg. I'm going to lengthen my right leg back. And you can see my heel on the floor here. To target this hip flexor on my right leg, I'm just going to lift the back heel up and tilt my pelvis forward. So then I'm getting a nice long stretch here. Okay. Good work. And switching sides. Okay, so you see my front knee over the heel. Back heel is grounded again. I'm gonna lift that back heel up and tilt my pelvis forward. Good work. Another way you can achieve that hip flexor stretch is with a Pigeon pose, which is essentially coming, bringing that knee up in between the hands, and I'm feeling the hip flexor stretch here. Then, of course, you'd want to switch sides, bring that front knee up, 
back leg is extended behind me and I'm just resting my weight evenly over the front evenly over both hands and easing my weight down because again nothing aggressive nothing too sudden okay so that's one other way to target the hip flexor stretch as well as the gluteal muscles here in the front bent leg Good, coming back up, stretching the top of the leg, quadricep muscle, just grabbing onto that foot, bringing it close to the bum as we can, feeling the length, nice long stretch there. Now we're going to switch sides. Another way to achieve this quadricep stretch, just in case you can't bring the foot to the hand, is just to bring one leg over to the far side of your chair, so it looks like the other leg and the other buttock is off. Lean back to the chair, take this free leg, and just kind of drop it to the back for the bent, bent toes and lifted heels. So I'm going to show it from this perspective because I don't think you can bringing my outside leg here to the edge of the chair. It's not resting on the chair, just the one leg is. And so there's a bit of a quadricep stretch here. It's not as deep as standing and bringing the foot to the bum, but it still works, especially if you lean back and you situate that foot properly. It's nice to use a folding chair. Folding chair with the rubber grips on the bottom. You don't want to have any type of chair for stretching or yoga with wheels on the bottom. Okay, that's a safety hazard. So a regular chair is fine. Okay, coming to the, the glutes. So again, the buttock muscles here. We're gonna cross one leg over the other. I'm gonna take my opposite arm and just take it to the outside of that thigh there. And I'm gonna twist. Just a gentle twist of my upper body and a gradual easing of this leg to that direction. So again, sometimes things take a little bit of trial and error, so you have to experiment with things to be able to understand how it's supposed to work and how uh, the feeling that you should get from a stretch. So switching sides, okay? So I have my left leg over my right, and we take my right arm here to the outside. So I can really feel the deep stretch here in my glute uh, gluteal muscles, okay? job. Now for the inner thighs, again very often uh, tight or tense area, the inner thighs here. I'm just going to take the knees nice and wide with the toes diagonally out and I'm going to rest the elbows on the insides of my knees and I'm going to breathe in first and as I exhale I'm just going to lower my upper body down and gently press those knees to the outside with my elbows. Excellent stretch for the inner thighs it's quite the relief so don't neglect those little muscles a lot of times we, we forget about the small muscles we we overlook them um, we don't pay attention so we have to listen to our bodies and when we feel a lot of tension or stress um, or even pain and we're not sure why we have to listen and try to take action good so there's the inner thigh stretch going to the hamstrings I'm gonna just lengthen my right leg out heel to the floor toes up and I'm just going to tilt my upper body forward and feel the length down the back of the hamstring here. Good job. It's really important to be patient and mindful when you're doing any type of movement, okay? Because you want to have your full attention on what you're supposed to be doing in order to gain the maximum benefit. So opposite leg. You can see my outside leg over here is just bent and my foot is planted to the floor. And again, this leg extended heel to the ground, toe up, lengthening my upper body forward causes that nice long stretch. Hamstrings, another big muscle, not to be overlooked. Okay, and then we have the calves, which is the bottom, back of the lower legs. So it's nice to come to a uh, wall or some type of surface, and I want you to pay attention to this leg. This is the calf I'm going to stretch. I'm going to, again, 
heel to the ground and toe up against the surface here, against this board. I'm gonna keep the leg nice and straight. I'm gonna breathe in. And as I exhale, I'm gonna lean forward. And as I transfer my weight forward, I can feel that lengthening in the calf, okay? So it's important to try to keep that leg pretty straight in order to target that stretch. So it's this calf here, good. Switching sides. I'm switched onto my right leg now, this one. Really pay attention to how you feel during all stretches because I cannot tell you how to feel. Um, and same with yoga poses. I can't tell you what you're supposed to feel, but with attention to alignment and positioning and steady breathing and all of that stuff, um, it's really, really, um, you're gonna experience it on your own and you, and you hopefully will feel the stretch and you will feel that muscle being targeted. So with that being said, I wanna just end with some gentle ankle circles because we don't wanna ignore the small joints either. So wrists and ankles, just making sure that we include those in our stretches and opening and closing of the hands. Okay. Just making sure we pay attention to those small joints as well. And so there you have just this general uh, rundown of stretches that you can do starting with the neck down to the feet. I hope I've covered everything. Um, and again, come back to this video when you get done doing the, the strength workouts and strength exercises because again, I can't emphasize enough that if you're doing strength workouts or uh, heavy cardio or anything like that, it's always important to come back to stretching to make sure those muscles have a balance of strengthening and flexibility. Okay, and that's what yoga is essentially all about. You're strengthening and you're also lengthening those muscles. So we'll talk about that later on. I hope you enjoyed this series of stretches. Now I just want to say thank you for joining me. Yeah, see you next time.